Hi guys. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Good to see you here. Hi Anna. Hello Vane. Hello Angelica, Robert, Monica and Lisette. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, How teacher. Was your day at work. How was your day, Vanessa, at work? Was it difficult? Easy? How was it? Ah. Uh, very heavy. Heavy. <laughs> Why? Heavy. Did you uh, do difficult activities? Or <laughs> too many activities and that is why and in in my work ajá uh -huh. too many activities habían muchas actividades too many activities or difficult activities and difficult activities ah uh -huh. that's yeah. why that's why but the good thing is that it's over right lo bueno es que ya ya terminó <laughs> okay yeah. well Good to see you here, Vani. What about you, Angelica? How was your day at work? Good evening, teacher. It Hi, was Angelica. boring. Boring. And why? Why was it boring in your case? Uh, because uh, everybody in the in the work, we finished the 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 homeworks or, or the task? Aha. Uh -huh. You finish early. Terminó rápido. Temprano. Yes. You finish early. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. So that's why it was boring. Okay. Well, good to see you here, Angelica. Maybe tomorrow is more exciting. Tal vez mañana está mejor. Maybe it's better. <laughs> but good to see yes, you guys. I hope so. <laughs> yes, I hope so. Hopefully. You have to be positive. Maybe it will be like that. <laughs> yes. Okay. So guys, we will start with one activity. I'm going to share with you this. Okay, you have to complete the sequence. Completar la secuencia. We have to complete the sequence. The, the words have something in common. There is something that they have similar. Okay, las palabras tienen algo en común. You have to figure it out. Tienen que descubrirlo. You have to figure it out. For example, what do a dog, a rabbit, and a pig have in common? Por ejemplo, un dog, rabbit, and pig. Lisette, do you have a comment? Are animals. Ajá, uh -huh, that could be one, Lizette. Good job. Ajá, uh -huh. podríamos decir que tienen eso en común. They are all animals. Or, which is another uh, similarity? ¿Cuál sería otra cosa que tienen en común? A dog, a rabbit, and a pig. Besides being dog, um, animals, aparte de ser animales. Do you see something else? Teacher, sorry. Yes. I don't understand the question. Read okay. and complete motive your answer. Uh, you have to complete, complete the sequence. Well, you have to tell me something that they have in common. Tiene que pensar en algo que todos los que aparecen en la primera línea tengan en común. Okay, the ones here. Todos esos, a dog, a rabbit, and a pig. Lisette mentioned that they are animals, right? So, but what else? No sé si alguien tiene another idea? Another similarity? And teacher, how do you say oreja in English? Ears. Okay, they are big ears. They have big ears, but dogs, Anna? Not all the time, dogs, not all the time, but it could be, it could be one. Okay, okay. <laughs> thank you. But this is the other one, esa es otra. They are all pets, domestic pets. Todos son, son mascotas, okay? So that is what you have to do. Think about something that they have in common. Piensen en algo que todos tienen en común. Okay, let's begin with Robert. 
Number two, Robert. Switzerland, Sweden, and Slovakia. What do they have in common, Robert? Do you have one idea? Robert. Uh, Robert, me escucha. Do you hear me? If not, we continue with Monica. Monica, can you help us with number two? A similarity. Switzerland, Sweden, and Slovakia. Uh, the common for me, mm -hmm. the, these countries are beautiful. They are beautiful countries, uh -huh. and they are all countries, some countries, right? That is the similarity. Thank you, Robert. Now let's continue with number three. Can you help us, Yolanda? Chinese, Russian, and Arabic. Chinese, Russian, and Arabic. Are you there? Uh, no, I think she doesn't hear me. Let's see, Tati, number three. Do you know what they have in common? Robert? All countries have a good technology. Good technology. Okay, thank you, Robert. That could be one option. Uh -huh. Anna? Uh, this, uh, they are nationalities. Nationalities, uh -huh. thank you. And we also have one, one more option. Who has another idea? Bunny, do you have a comment? Vanessa Ramirez. Vanessa Ramirez, do you have a comment? Or Lisette? I don't know if you wanted to give a comment. And, uh, not teacher. <laughs> no, okay. And you, Lisette? La next. <laughs> ah, number four. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, give me one moment. The other one they have is that they are languages too. So Chinese, Russian, and Arabic are languages. Okay, Lisette, you can help us with number four. Tomato, cherry, and blood. What is the similarity? The color. The color, uh-huh, they are all red, right? You got it very fast. This one is easy, <laughs> Eric. What do they have in common? Toyota, Honda, and Mazda. ¿Qué tienen en común, Eric? What do they have in common? Number five. Maybe he doesn't hear me. Guillermo, could you help us? Number Uh, yes, uh, the Toyota, Honda, the Mazda are all our cars. And well, the Toyota have uh, a similar cars, uh, sorry, a similar cars like Honda and Mazda. And well, the cars are so fast. That is uh -huh. the same in the Toyota, Honda, and Mazda. Okay, thank you, Guillermo. Any other comment? Any other idea? Number five. What do they have they, in common? Uh -huh, Angeli? They, they are car brands. They are car brands. Uh -huh. Thank you, Angelica. That's right. Okay, now let's go with the next one. Let's continue with Anna. Table, bed, and Pinocchio. Uh, they are wood. Uh -huh, they are made. Made of wood, correct, of Anna. Wood. Perfect. Let's let's continue with 
the one we see here. Okay, Lisette. Oops, no, hold on. <clears throat> Lisette. Number nine. Diabetes, cancer, and asthma. What is the similarity? Uh, what do you say, enfermedades? Diseases or sicknesses. Correct. They are sicknesses, diseases, or illnesses. That means uh, enfermedades too. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. So let's let's continue. And give me one second. Okay, today we will continue talking about count nouns and non-count nouns. Okay, we will talk about that. Vamos a seguir platicando sobre eh, count nouns, cosas que podemos contar y cosas incontables. Okay, we will talk about the characteristics. Okay, give me one moment. Okay. Let's begin with count nouns. Vamos a comenzar con count nouns. I'm going to share with you a presentation, okay, count nouns. All right. Patty, can you read the description, please? Can you read the slide? Okay. Count nouns one. To prepare things. Separate things. Uh -huh. Separate things. It's easy to calm them. One apple. Three books. Two hamburgers. Okay, thank you, Tati. So count nouns are things we can count, right? Son cosas que podemos contar. Okay, here we have some characteristics. Aquí vamos a ver algunas características. Characteristic number one. Can you read the, the information, Angelica, please? To form the plural of most common nouns, add S or S or, or S. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. One hamburger, two hamburgers, one sandwich, two sandwiches. Thank you. Okay, so remember that a count noun has two forms. It has the singular form and you can create the plural form, adding S or sometimes ES, okay? Recuerden que van a tener dos formas. Va a tener la singular y va a tener la plural, los que son countable nouns, los que son contables, okay? And this is another point. Okay, could you read this one, Marisol, please? The next, the next point. A salad, a pizza, and apple. Okay, thank you. So you can use the word a, right? Before? Ah, okay. Uh -huh, before singular nouns. Remember okay. the meaning of a, ah, it means one. Okay, now the same question I asked yesterday. Mario, do you remember when you have to use a ah and when we need to use an? ¿Se recuerda cuando mencionábamos que usamos a ah y cuando va an? Uh, yes, Robert, do you have a comment? Uh, I use and. Uh, ¿Lo puedo decir en español? Ok. Uh -huh. Es cuando, se, cuando hay una vocal antes. Ajá, uh -huh. thank you. With vowel sound, right? Thank you, Robert. So, and is for vowel sounds, like here, and apple. And A is for four consonants, okay? A, salad, A, 
pizza. Okay, do you want to ask a question in this moment, guys? About count nouns? Comments or questions? No. Okay, let's continue. Uh, yeah. Guillermo? Uh -huh. Well, if I, regarding to the A and M, I, I yep. listen and use um before hour. It's for the, the sound, right? It's because of the sound. Uh -huh, because if it sounds like a vowel, you use an. It's not okay. just the, the, the vowel. It could be only the sound too. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome, Guillermo. Okay, now non-count nouns. We will talk about things we cannot count. Lisette, can you read the 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 explanation, please? Non-count noun refers to things that are difficult to count. Right? Mm -hmm. Ice cream, coffee. Thank you, Lisette. So things that are difficult to count. Maybe because it's a liquid, wow. puede ser un, un líquido, it could be a liquid, or maybe something very tiny, o puede ser algo quizás muy diminuto para ser contado. Okay, like hair, for example, it's too tiny to count it. Sand, like this, it's too tiny, right? Sand. So we don't count them. Okay, let's let's give me one moment. I'm going to share something with you. Okay, here we have a list of common non-count nouns. Quiero compartir con ustedes una pequeña lista para que vean algunas cosas que en inglés no podemos contar. Okay, maybe in Spanish we can. Tal vez en español hay algunas que sí, but in English we don't count them. So remember, these nouns have only one form. Recuerden que estos nouns solo tienen una forma, no tienen plural. Pueden utilizar una medida, ¿verdad? Una unidad de medida para contarlo, pero no podemos agregarle ese. Okay, no lo podemos pluralizar. Okay, listen to, to me and then we will listen to some of you. Okay, so we have milk, Oil, oil, water, coffee, tea, juice, yogurt, yogurt, honey, honey, lightning, lightning, thunder, thunder, Jewelry, jewelry, just two sounds, okay, jewelry, friendship, friendship, advice, advice, energy, energy, money, okay, money, mail, mail, Paper, paper, grass, grass, corn, corn, and soup, soup. Okay, we will listen to some of you. Let's begin with <laughs> Hazel. Uh, yes, Robert? What's the name in grass? Grass is the the green thing that you have in the gardener in, in the garden the green thing that it's on the on the ground es lo verde de lo que uno tiene en un patio la grama grass ah uh, okay okay mm -hmm. that's that's grass you can um, give me one moment and we will talk about the the meaning ya les voy a ayudar con alguna alguna pregunta de vocabulary vamos a empezar con pronunciation hazel can you help us with the, the first row, the first column? I'm sorry. Okay. Milk, oil, water, coffee, 
tea, juice, yogurt, honey, lightning, lightning, thunder. Okay, very well, Hazel. Good pronunciation. I will help you with this one, yogurt. Yogurt. And this one again? Yogurt. And the other one? Like uh, honey. Honey, uh-huh. Thank you. Lightning. Mm -hmm. Those ones were correct. Okay. Thank you, Hazel. Now let's listen to Vane Carranza. Next line or, or column. Jewelry, friendship, ad advice, energy, money, mail, paper, grass, curb, soap. Thank you, Vane. Uh -huh. Good job. Just three words that we will check. Okay. The one here will be jewelry. One more time, Bunny. Jewelry. 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 Mm -hmm. Jewelry. 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 The next one, advice. Advice. Yes. Soup. Soup. Yes. Thank you, Bunny. Now let's listen to Vanessa Ramirez. The same line, Vane. Vane Ramirez, same line. Eh, eh, la misma columna. Yes, the same column, sorry. Eh, yeah, jewelry, friendship, advice, energy, money, mail, Paper, grass, core, and soup. Excellent. Thank you very much, Fanny. Good job. And now the, the list here. We will go back to the first one. Heidi, could you help us, Heidi? Please. Milk, owl, water, coffee, tea, juice, sugar. Honey, lightning, thunder. Thank you, Heidi. Okay, good pronunciation. Okay, guys, uh, vocabulary, new vocabulary. How can I help you? New words. No sé si hay nuevas palabras que no hayan. Advice. Advice, okay. More or just advice? Solo eso, just advice. Just advice. Okay. Advice means consejo. Jewelry. Jewelry, it's like joyería, your accessories, bracelets, uh, necklaces. That's jewelry, joyería. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else, guys? You can use the chat too. Si quieren, lo pueden enviar en el chat. Do you know the meaning of lightning? ¿Conocen esa? Lightning. Relámpago. Uh, yes, yes, relámpago. In English, no podemos contarles. Uh, Mario, sorry, do you have a comment? Ah, yo iba a decir, pero es uh, similar. Ajá, ajá uh -huh. thunder, ¿verdad? Thunder ya sería el, el rayo. Y tampoco lo podemos contar en English. Okay, thunder, lightning. Así que no pueden decir thunders or linings in English we don't y recuerden homework right no lo agregué acá pero homework tampoco le podemos poner la S o soup que es sopa no podemos decir soups okay? in English we don't do it okay that is the list I sent it in the group les envié ahí en el grupo la lista so in case you want to have it ahí está okay do you have questions for me in this moment? Do you want to ask a question? No, no questions. No question. Uh -huh. Lisette? No questions. No, no questions. Ah, okay. All right. We will work on something. Okay. I sent this document by WhatsApp to this activity. We will work in pairs. Part number one, 
you have to tell me if those nouns are countable or non-countable, okay? Parte A, hay que ver o identificar los que son count nouns, contables y no contables. En part number two, van a escoger a cuál le van a poner a y cuál van a poner an, okay? From the list, the list you have there. Questions? No, no questions. Okay, let me create the rooms and please accept the invite. Hi, Robert. Hi, Guillermo. Hi. Do you need help? Do you have questions? Uh, yes, we can find the... The document. The document. Ah, uh, okay. Let me... Let me send it here. It's this one. Okay, I just sent a message. That's the document. In the group by, by WhatsApp. Teacher, uh, I don't stay in the... You're not what? in the group. No. And you, Guillermo? Are you in the group? If not, uh, uh huh. Yeah, uh, I, am, I am looking for the document. Okay, if not, uh, I will send it here by. But let me see. I can send it here. Maybe a screenshot, Robert? Take a screenshot if you want. And yes. that way you can see it. Because I cannot send it by Zoom. Okay. This is the document. This is the document, okay. I, I take a screenshot. You're finished. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you have more questions before I go? Mm -hmm. 
more questions? No. Okay, guys, I will let you continue in that case. See you in a moment. Bye bye. No, no se puede contar. That's a line. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Bunny. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Do you have questions? Um, Hay algunas que no estamos tan <laughs> seguras de que. Ajá. Ajá. Por ejemplo, Ajá. el pan. El pan se puede contar. No. Bread. In English, we cannot. Not in English. Okay. Uh -huh. In English, no se puede contar. Mm -mm. No. Okay. Uh -huh. Just that one. Tony. Meat. Uh, meat. No. It's not no, countable. No. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Anything else you may need? En la, en la segunda parte, solo vamos a seleccionar la opción correcta o también hay que darle respuesta a la pregunta. You only need to use or you only have to put A or an. Solo hay que poner okay. la A or an. Depende de, de lo que usted evalúe, que sería la, la opción correcta. Ok. Ah, okay. Y en la otra parte hay una tercera parte que dice choose the correct option. ¿La vamos a trabajar? Uh, no, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. Ok. Bueno, está bien. Uh -huh. Ok, so, how, how much time do you need? Um, no. How much time? Five How's minutes. Tiempo? Like five minutes. Ok, all right. Sounds good. I'll see you in, in a moment. Goodbye. Thank you. Contable. Bunny. Hi, Kelia. Do you need Hi, time? teacher. Yeah, eso sería, eh, bueno, el 19 es sofá con tabón. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, ayer, este, es que mi teléfono me está fallando y ayer me sacó cabal cuando estábamos ya en los grupos y ya no me ah. pude conectar porque como me quedé así como preparando la reunión y nunca me carga ah, entonces me pasé a la computadora pero creo que el teléfono es porque no es el internet y usted fue la que escribió ahorita que tampoco podía sí, ingresar sí ajá ah. pero me cambié a la computadora y ya no no, ah, no pues pasó si nada ya el rápido. teléfono verdad uh -huh. oh, ah ok ok thank you for telling bueno. me estaba ahí okay. pendiente. Do you need Bien. any help? No sé si tienen alguna duda antes que me marche. Um, no. No. For the sure. moment, no. Okay. All right. Well, okay. eh, in about okay. four minutes or three, we will return. No sé qué tal, qué tan van, qué tan eh, van. La parte B no se hace falta. Ah, okay. Sí, la segunda okay. parte. So in about three minutes, we will return. Okay. 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 All right. See you. Mm -hmm. Hi, hey, hi, Anna. How are you Hello. doing? Have you finished? Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. is uh, the exercise only little little A and little B? Uh huh. Or part the three, three part? No, not yet. Part number three, not yet. Only one and uh, two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Okay, finish. Have you you finish? Okay, perfect. Yes. Yeah. Was it easy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's it's maybe a little bit more about meditating, right? Analyzing if you can count it or not. And the difficult part is that sometimes in English we cannot count some things that we can count in Spanish. Like bread, mm -hmm. for example. Bread is non-countable. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uncountable oh. in English. Yeah. yeah. Because so. I I I wrote the the <laughs> The opposite. Okay, okay, but no, it's uncountable. Mm -hmm. Bread. Okay. Bread. Uh -huh. 
-hmm. You okay. can use Important. units of measure. Sorry. La, import la importancia de la gramática en el idioma inglés, porque en español, bueno, ni hablamos el español. <laughs> Uh, we, uh -huh, that's true. We sometimes speak Spanish badly, right? Hablamos a veces mal el, el español y no respetamos las reglas. But in English is the same. En inglés también pasa yeah. eso, Heidi. Uh -huh. Va a haber muchas cosas Solo que quiero. así son. Uh -huh. Sí. Ajá, sí pasa. Sí, es bastante importante. Por el hecho de que también se nos puede ser malinterpretado lo que queramos decir. Ajá, ajá, correcto. Así que ahí poquito a poquito lo vamos a ir aprendiendo. Hi, guys. We are going to check the answers. We will check your, your answers to see how you did. Okay, so let's begin with part number one. Part number one, and we begin with, uh, give me a moment. Okay, Eric and Yolanda. Number one, water, countable or non-countable? Hey, uncountable. Uh-huh, correct. So we're going to add, Ah, uh, okay. Uncountable. Non count now. Thank you, Yolanda. Now, Lisette and Monica, fruit. Countable. Countable. This one is both of them countable and non countable. La fruta puede ser contable y no contable. Pero le vamos a poner non-count and, okay. and count. And count. Count. Okay, thank you. Coconut. Kelly and Bunny. Coconut. Countable. No, count. countable. Countable. You can, you can count coconuts. That one, it's a count now. But thank you. Now let's continue with Guillermo and Robert. Brett? Yes, countable. In English, none. Non countable, Robert. But thank you. Next one Angelica and Mario, DVD. It's countable. Count, yes. Count. It's a count now. Okay. Countable. Thank you. Let's, yes, tell me. Sorry, mm -hmm. why coconut? I no, no. no. Why? No. Brie, porque es non contable. In English? Uh -huh. Porque es non contable bread. I don't know why. No sé por qué lo tienen <laughs> en esa categoría de non count out. Pueden contar como las slides, las, ah, okay. como las... Las partes, como el, así como el pan de... Ajá, ajá. Como el pan de, de caja, que, ¿verdad? Ajá, que como podemos... rodajas. Eso, podemos contar las rodajas, mm. pero en inglés la, es como los consejos, advice, no se pueden contar. No sé por qué no, ah. pero that's, that's the bueno, rule. <laughs> yes, supongo I que will fuera give you. Con, uh -huh. Fuera con si fuera slide bread. Ajá. Sí, de eso vamos a hablar ahorita que terminemos esto. ¿Cómo los vamos a transformar en count out? ¿Cómo los vamos a contar en inglés? Ok, let's continue with meat. Hazel and Bunny, meat. Uncountable. Uncountable, correct. Uncountable. Thank you. Tati and Wendy, ball. Countable. Countable. Countable, yes. Snack, Tati, uh, I'm sorry, Anna and Heidi? No, countable. No. Countable. Countable, you can count them, snacks. But thank you, <laughs> thank you guys. Let's, let's one, uh, next one, I'm sorry, Eric and Yolanda? Uh, 
glasses. Eric or Yolanda. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes, they are countable. Lisette and Monica, pen. Countable. Countable. Correct. Guillermo and Robert, milk. Teacher. Yes. En la nueve es, es contable. Yes. Uh -huh. Pero si lo tomábamos así como usted decía, que estos no tienen un plural, ¿y este cuál sería el plural? That's the plural form, glasses. Glass is the singular form. Glasses. Glass. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Yes, you. you You're welcome. So what Milk about... Is... It is... What? I'm sorry. Uncountable. Non-countable. Thank you. Now let's continue with Wendy and Tati. Chair. Countable. Countable, yes, you can count them. Gasoline, Anna and Heidi. Gas, gasoline. No countable. Non countable, thank you. Next one, Guillermo and Robert, table. Countable. It's countable, thank you, uh huh? Countable. Cream, Angelica and Mario, cream. Number 15. Uncountable. Uncountable cream. Thank you. We will add it here. Uncountable. Now let's continue with Manny, Hazel, and Bunny. Uncountable. Uncountable. Thank you. Uncountable. Next one. Anna in Haiti, oil. And no countable. Uncountable, thank you. Now Eric and Yolanda, insect. Countable. Countable, yes. Thank you guys. And now Lisette and Monica, sofa. Countable. Countable. Thank you. Correct. Do you have more questions about part A? Questions or comments? Have a question. Tell me. And classes is uh, vasos o anteojos? It could be both. Puede ser cualquiera de las dos, Kelly. O ambas. <laughs> It could be oh, glass, okay. like glasses. Mm. Podríamos etiquetarlo más como glases de vasos. Usualmente a estos les llamamos glases, ajá, pero hay glases y son glases. Pero en este caso podríamos tomarlo ahorita como vasos, glas, glases. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, part number, part B. Let's continue with part B. Ok, Guillermo, number one. Our Ann. Ann, an uncle. An uncle, thank you. Angelica, number two. A or Ann? Uh, our? Ah. Our uh, Ann. Our. Ann. Our. Ann sería, porque vamos con el sonido. Suena eh, como mm -hmm. una vocal, an hour. But thank you. Oh, okay. okay. Next one, Hazel and Bunny. Abbas. Abbas, yes. Tati, Wendy. Adres. Adres. Excellent, thank you. Anna and Heidi. And Owen. Perfect. Eric and Yolanda. Uh, beach. Great. Lisette and Monica. A teacher. A teacher. Perfect. Kelly and Bunny. 
Mm -hmm. Kelly and Van, what do you think about the next one? And and uh -huh. and 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 Thank you very much. Next one, Guillermo and Robert. Which uh, and taxi. A taxi. Okay, thank you. Eric, number 10. Um, an umbrella. An umbrella, yes. Thank you. Okay, so before we go, let's talk about how to transform uncountable nouns to countable nouns. Y vamos a ver la, cómo transformarlos. Uncount or uncountable nouns, okay. You can use, sorry, units, units of measure, okay. Lo que vamos a hacer para poder contarlo es agregar units of measure. For example, liquids. If you have liquids, milk, water, soda, beer, okay, que son líquidos que no podemos contar, pueden usar un contenedor. You can use a container. Do you know some containers in English? No sé si conocen algunos contenedores para liquids in English. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Which ones? Termo. Okay, in English, uh -huh. how do you say it? Termo. Do you, do you remember? Or you don't? Thermos? Uh, it's, it's different. It's a, a mop. That's the, the one. Uh -huh. But thank you, Rob. Bottle. Bottle, yes. Anna, do you have a, a comment? cup? Cups. We have uh, cups. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. We have Bo glasses. Glasses. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. We have cans. Cans son las latas. And then you use of for example give me one glass of water okay and that's the the change aquí ya lo medimos verdad ya lo hacemos un count now or we want two cups of coffee okay two cups of coffee the same with kids, okay? You use a unit of measure. Más adelante, luego de la clase, les voy a enviar una gran lista donde hay muchas unidades de medida que van por contenedor, por piezas. Está bien específico. And you can choose the one you need. Okay, homework. Les voy a hablar de las más importantes. Homework, you can use a unit of measure. Use assignments. Okay, assignments. For example, okay, homework, assignments. She has three homework assignments. Okay, three homework assignments. That is what you can use. Uh, do you have questions in this moment? Questions for me? What is assignments, teacher? Como una asignación. Como una asignación. That would be the, the word you can use, assignment. Thank you. Uh, uh -huh, you're welcome. With paper, with paper, Pueden utilizar a piece of paper. Or you can use sheet. Be careful, be careful with the pronunciation, right? Sheet. Tengan cuidado porque si lo dicen mal, van a decir una mala palabra, okay? So this is sheet. 
a sheet of paper. Y si son dos páginas, ¿verdad? Que le diríamos acá. Entonces ahí ponen two sheets of paper. ¿Ok? Y ahí ya pueden contarlo. If you want to count it. Ok. Next one. Advice. Advice is non-countable, right? Non-countable. Pero lo podemos contar. Advice. We will use piece. Piece of advice. Ok. Y ahí ya pueden contar los consejos. I can say give me three pieces of advice. Three pieces of advice. But just observe. Observen que mi noun nunca lleva la S. A lo que le he puesto la S es al contenedor o a mi unidad de medida pero no a la palabra, porque no le puedo poner S. ¿Ok? Paper continúa siendo paper. Homework, sin S, siempre. Just homework. Solo lo que le hemos puesto es a, a la unit of measure. ¿Ok? That's the one. ¿Ok? Those are some, some common ones. Esos son como los más comunes. ¿Ok? Um, questions? For me, in this moment. No? Okay. No. The, el, the last el, activity. Uh -huh. yes, el Mario. off tiene que llevarlo después de la palabra. Eh, de la unidad de medida. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. yes. Off. Okay. One cup off, one can off. Uh -huh. That's the way you, you do it. Okay. So in this moment, we will try to create a recipe. Vamos a tratar de crear una receta. You can use the chat or you can send it by WhatsApp. Okay. Think about how to make, I don't know, a sandwich or how to, how to make something. Okay. I don't know if you like to cook, but think about a dish. Piensen en un platillo and tell me the ingredients that you need, okay? But be specific, okay? Díganme los ingredientes que necesitan y traten de ser específicos, okay? Sandwich y me mandan los ingredients. I will give you a moment and then you can send them by chat. Okay, thank you, Eric. 
Excellent. You have the, the units of measure there. Do you cook, Eric? Do you like to cook in your house? Uh, yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> you don't? Yes. <laughs> OK, why not? You don't like it. Um, ¿Cómo sería? Algunas veces. Sometimes. Sometimes. Ah, okay. Sometimes you do it. How often? Only, only cook uh, maruchan and. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cereal. <laughs> yes. Sandwiches. Ah, okay, Eric. <laughs> Okay, but thank you, uh -huh. you were very specific. Patty, okay, for a salad, uh -huh. lettuce, tomato, cucumber, pupusas, mm. corn, rice, beans, cheese, chicharron, you can say pork, you can say pork, bunny. And then pepper could be pepper, shrimp, and chicken, correct. Okay, uh, hazel, lettuce in English is non-countable. La, la lechuga no se puede contar en, en inglés. No podemos ponerle la A. Para que la cuente tiene que poner a head, <laughs> a head of lettuce. Y ahí ya va a ser, ya va a ser countable. And then, okay, carrot, a spoon of oil, okay. Then Mario, pudding, mm, okay, yes. Two cups, eh, cinnamon. Okay, guys, thank you. If you haven't sent it in the group, please send it by WhatsApp, okay? Si no han terminado, me lo envíen ahí en WhatsApp and I will check it out, okay? So guys, I think we will stop the class in, in this moment. Do you have any questions before I let you go? Questions or comments? No, no questions. Okay, then. No well, question. Okay, sounds good. In that case, remember to send your list if you haven't sent it by WhatsApp, okay? Have a good night, everyone, and, and see you tomorrow. <sighs> Bye bye. Good night. Tomorrow, teacher. Sweet dreams to all of you. Good night, teacher. Take care. Thank you, teacher.